come to this place in the Judah wilderness to pick up one more chapter in God's amazing story. We're near the north end of the Dead Sea, on the west side, up against the hills of the Judah wilderness, in a place called Qumran. And as soon as you say that, of course, everybody connects that with the Essenes and the Dead Sea Scrolls, and I believe that's correct. My goal is to take a look at how the desert continues to function as God's way of shaping and molding his people long after the Israelites have left the desert on the Exodus experience. So he's built a huge story of God that involved desert. You could think of Jesus as our desert. Think about it this way. In the Old Testament, God said, out of Egypt I called my son, referring to Israel. Jesus, God's only begotten son, was called out of Egypt. Or think about it this way. He was the Passover lamb. He died on Passover. He does all those things that the desert did for Israel, he does for us. And I think that's a beautiful picture. There's another one. You could say Jesus in the desert. And that's the one I'd like to think a bit about this morning. Come, let's go just a bit further and sit together and look at the story of his wilderness testing. Come. 